While the pandemic continues to wreak havoc on small businesses, one craft butcher shop in Philadelphia is feeling the impact. Primal Supply Meat says it's lost 45% of its business, but after quickly pivoting to an online store, it is seeing a surge in demand from home cooks. We visited the shop before the stay-at-home order was in effect. Here's what they had to say about their unconventional approach. It's the meat babies, you know, got to make sure they look good. My name is Heather Merrill Thomason. I'm a butcher and the founder of Primal Supply Meats in Philadelphia. In my 20s, as I was living and working in New York as a graphic designer, I really discovered local food. And I started to join food co-ops, CSAs, shopping at farmers markets. There were some farmers that I got to know and I saw the challenges for a small producer trying to raise pastured animals and get it processed and get it to market. And I had a sort of funny aha moment that maybe this is the work that I wanted to be doing. In Primal Supply, I work directly with local farmers and what I really try to do is be the middle person to manage the supply chain for them. So for the first year, I really just focused on the sourcing, the processing, the transportation, and we launched the business with just a wholesale program and subscription program. The idea that chefs and home cooks would commit in advance and that I could purchase a whole animal and pretty much know where most of it's going before it even came. And then as we grew and we scaled and we have a warehouse, you know, where we can hold a higher volume of meat, then it became appropriate to add the retail onto it. But this space is the one where customers can come and connect to us face to face. You know, someone can walk in and say, my recipe said ask your butcher, or I was wondering about this, or how would I cook it? And we can interface with people, we can talk to them about where it came from, we can teach them over the counter. The business was designed in a way where we actually intend to high, sustain a high cost of goods. And I know that's not traditional in the food business, but if we're going to truly support farmers and pay them a fair market price for these animals that are raised sustainably on pasture, that's something that was really important. And as we've grown over the last three years, we've already paid more than $3 million directly into the hands of less than a dozen farmers and one family-owned slaughterhouse. Not all meat is the same. So a lot of the reaction to plant-based diets and the idea that meat is bad for the environment is a response to the larger industrial system. The farmers that we work with and that we support are small and they're really doing restorative agriculture where they're raising animals in a way that they're giving back to the land. So for us, you know, we're really supporting an alternative industry. And I think that the idea is that you shouldn't not eat meat, you should eat less meat and you should eat better meat you know, kind of care about where it comes from, put your dollars in a place where you're supporting someone whose environment is making it a better place.